think in the beginning I would like to know how both of you actually met. How how did you how did you build up this relationship and how did you Tu veux raconter comment on s'est rencontrés Ah non, non, c'est toi qui vas le faire. Tu veux pas le dire en allemand Oh non, c'est trop difficile pour moi. Es ist für mich zu schwer auf Deutsch äh, zu das antworten. Aber Sie können auch auf Französisch antworten. Ja, ich, Und äh, Sebastian ja, will äh, aber übersetzen. Sebastian weiß, was es äh, so gut wie ich. <lacht> <lacht> wir, wir haben uns zusammen getroffen. Ja, oui, also, was ist? Raconte. Was so, ihr? Oh, we, met, ihr? we met uh, uh, in, in a film festival. We were members of a jury. And uh, Bambi. At that time, it was like two or three years ago in Paris, and Bombi told me about her life. We had a special dinner together, mm -hmm. and um, and I asked her a lot of questions about her life, and she told me the whole thing in a way, mm -hmm. and uh, I was very surprised because I knew her by name, you know, mm -hmm. but I didn't know the the whole story, you know, of mm -hmm. her life, mm -hmm. and I thought it was so amazing, you know, because she came from Algeria in a time when Algeria was f French, mm -hmm. uh, from a kind of poor family, very mm -hmm. modest family. Mm -hmm. And um, it was in 1935. Mm -hmm. and, um, and she came, she, I mean, she did a long way, you know, to then to Paris mm -hmm. and in the cabaret in Pigalle and, and until now. So for me, you know, the whole story was so, it's a kind of novel in a way. Mm -hmm. And I was, it was so strong and powerful, and I think she was so brave, you know, to do each step by, um, by each step, you know, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. I was very impressed. Mm -hmm. And I thought it could be a, a wonderful story, you know, for a documentary. Mm -hmm. And then she told me that she had a lot of footage of Super 8 film. And so for me, you know, there was no discussion. I mean, the story plus the footage of the Super H did for so many years, uh, from the 50s until the 70s, you know, mm -hmm. was really the, the material for a film, you know. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I think we had a complicity, a very strong complicity together, mm -hmm. and uh, she trusted me. And she said yes at the end. <laughs> I'm sorry, tu m'as dit oui. Oui, oh, je t'ai pas dit à the end, je t'ai dit dès le début. <laughs> <laughs> so how, because I know, especially also as a documentary filmmaker, you're, you want to be dedicated and you want to build up trust with, with your protagonists so, so, you know, they're very open and you, you get, you know, amazing answers. Maybe, um, Bombi, you could answer how this relationship was built up and how you felt about the trust. Comment notre relation s'est construite et, et comment la, la confiance s'est installée en fait. Oui. Zwei Wege. Weg. Wege. Wege. Zwei Wege. Zuerst, ich, ich, ich habe um, Sébastien uh, kennengelernt. Ich habe gelernt. Ich habe äh, als Artist, wie ein Artist, als, als ein Artist, als Artist. Künstler. 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 Er ist ein, ein gut Cinemamacher, Direktor, ja. ja. Das, das wusste ich zuerst. Und dann ha, ha, hat er mir gefragt, ob ich äh, mit ihm arbeiten wollen. Ich habe yes, ich habe ja, ich habe ja, oui <lacht> gesagt, <lacht> weil, ja, weil ich, 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 comment dit ou ta, comment dit euh, confiance, avoir confiance, comment? Vertrauen. Par, ja, ich, ich, ich habe, ich vertraue ihm und er, er ist sehr, sehr Je ne sais pas dire gentillesse. Kind. Heißt freundlich, net. Net, net. net. Aber mehr, mehr als mehr net. Freund, Freund, liebe Freund. Freund. Ja, liebe, liebe Freund. Freund. Ja. Er ist ein Freund geworden. Und dann habe ich gefragt, was du willst als Arbeit. Ich mache, was, was ich kann, was du willst. 
solange ich kann. Mm -hmm. So, I know that you also come from a fictional background yes. concerning filmmaking. And when I was watching the film yesterday and I saw one of the opening scenes when you have Bombay on, on, the, on the ship, you know, entering the harbor of uh, Algeria, Algeria. Um, I was wondering concerning the composition, the, the image composition, visual compo composition, did you, did you make use of your resources as a fictional filmmaker too? Sure. And how far? Yeah, yeah sure. Well, I always love to mix, you know, fiction and documentary aspects into a film. So, um, I remember we were on the boat and we had 45 minutes to shoot everything because the boat, it takes 45 minutes for the boat to go inside the arbor, you know, of Algier. And so we have to do it quickly. but. On the other hand, it was a real moment for Bambi because she didn't come back for 50 years there, you know? So I didn't want to push her, you know, just to be uh, efficient for, for the film, you know? It was a moment for her to live, you know? So this is always the tricky thing for, you know, in a documentary. You have to make the shot like you want to do. And um, so I come from the, from the fiction, future film, you know? And um, so I have to deal something with reality that is in front of me and with my protagonist who need just to live, you know, the moment. Mm -hmm. And also all the, the things I want, you know, for the film, for the shots, um, the frame and etc. So it's, it's a kind of mix, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, but what I'm trying to do at my best is, um, to make her live the moment as free as she can. Mm -hmm. And me, I try to find my place with the camera, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know? And, um, and the film is really built into these two things, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Bambi, how did you feel when you were entering the harbor of Algiers and when you were walking through the streets and you were entering your old family house? Was it, did you feel that you had the space to really authentically Feel it, or did you feel you were acting something? Qu'est-ce que ça t'a fait quand tu es arrivé à Paris, quand tu as commencé à marcher dans les rues d'Alger? Euh, Est-ce que tu es quand je suis arrivé à Alger? Tu quand tu es Alger? Oui, ouais. à Alger. Euh, Qu'est-ce que c'est? Qu'est-ce que ça t'a fait voilà de retourner dans, dans le pays? Et surtout, est-ce que tu as réussi à trouver une sorte de place entre ce que tu devais vivre, quoi, et, et finalement ce film à faire? Tu peux répondre en français. Euh, je vais répondre en français. Ce que ça m'a fait, c'est que d'abord, quand on m'a dit voilà les côtes algériennes et que j'ai vu les côtes algériennes de loin, euh, bon, c'était de la terre et des maisons vu de loin. Mais quand j'ai commencé à reconnaître Alger, quand j'ai commencé à reconnaître le port, le square Bresson, les, les quartiers que je connaissais parfaitement, j'étais très ému. Tu commences à réaliser d'ailleurs le film par là. Et j'ai été très ému. Et puis après, Bon, il y a eu le, le, le travail qui s'est fait, c'est-à-dire qu'on était bloqué dans ce bateau, il a fallu attendre pour entrer, il a fallu aller à l'hôtel. On, on est pris comme on était dans une tournée, tu vois, qu'on voyage pour aller, on est d'abord pris par les nécessités matérielles. Et bon, alors après, j'ai eu des moments d'émotion, mais par exemple, quand j'ai vu la maison dans laquelle j'ai été élevé à Borges-Ménayel, qu'elle était complètement cassée, que l'église a été abattue, que la mairie est tombée par le tremblement de terre, la, les, la poste pareil. Bon, euh, c'était comme ça. Et surtout, il y a cinq fois plus de monde en Algérie qu'il y avait quand j'étais enfant. Et donc, euh, on ne reconnaît pas les gens. Les, les gens se, se bousculent sur les trottoirs. Dans mon patelin, il n'y avait personne. Donc, euh, je n'ai pas tout à fait retrouvé. J'ai plus retrouvé Alger dans le centre à l'hôtel Aletti. Là, l'hôtel Aletti, alors là, ça... J'avais des moments... <rire> des moments d'enthousiasme et des moments de nostalgie terrible. Voilà. Can you summarize a little bit what she said? Just... Uh... Well, it was a kind of mixed feelings, you know, because um, when, when we arrived in Algiers, she recognized a part of Algiers. Mm -hmm. But then when we went in the little village, where she was born, mm -hmm. everything has changed. Mm -hmm. uh, the streets were different, mm -hmm. a lot of houses were disappeared mm -hmm. because there was a earthquake okay. uh, like 10 years ago. And so a, a, a big part of the, fa uh, of the town 
crashed down, you know, mm. so a lot of things disappeared. So she was a bit in a weird mood, you know, mm. because she didn't recognize so much the places, you know, of her childhood. But on the other hand, and also there was something very different at her time when she was there, you know, as a little kid, uh, there was very few people. And now there is five more people everywhere. The population in Algeria is very big now, you know. Mm -hmm. The streets are full of people. But when Bambi was a kid, there was quite nobody in the streets, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, it was very, very different for her. Mm -hmm. But Alger, uh, the capital, is still, it's still the same. And when she recognized some part of it, she had a lot of nostalgia, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Especially because we, we stayed in an hotel called Hotel Aleti, mm -hmm. which is a kind of institution there. It's a kind of beautiful hotel and nothing has changed there. It's really it's amazing. It's like the times just has stopped, you know? Yeah, it was very weird. And when she went there on a tour uh, during the 50s and 60s, she used to go to the Aleti Hotel. So it was strong for her to, to be there. That's nostalgia. Yes. Just the, the la that last question, because we have no time, but how, how is your life right now? What, maybe you can talk a little bit how, how you live. Comment est ta vie maintenant? Comment comment tu vis? Sehr einfach. Ich habe ich ich wohne in einem in ein Appartement in einem Appartement und ich habe ich habe da was was ich brauche und alles ist kalm. Comment dit kalm? Ruhig. Ruhig. Alles ist ruhig und jeden Tag ist wie the attack before and the attack danach. Genau. Alle Tage sind. Seulement, seulement quand ça change quand Sébastien. Das ist anders. Das ändert nur wenn Sebastian ist da. Er macht etwas anderes. Okay. Ouais. Vielen Dank. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Merci. Tu t'affreux, je ne m'exprime pas en allemand. Mais non, mais c'est adorable.